Now that Uncle Sam is not part of the 2024 elections, tell me why I should vote for Kamala Harris without fear mongering me. Kamala Harris, the 49th and incumbent vice president of the United States, announced a 2024 campaign for presidency on July 21st, 2024, after President Uncle Sam withdrew his bid for re election and endorsed her. As a member of the Democratic Party, Harris rose to national prominence during her 2016 campaign for the United States Senate, although she withdrew drew from the 2020 presidential race, she endorsed Uncle Sam, who just currently withdrew and became his running mate. If Harris secures the 2024 Democratic Party nomination, she would be the first black woman and first Asian American nominated for president by a major political party. If elected, she would also become the first female and first Asian American president of the United States. Now, a discussion has been sparked online by a palm color woman concerning why she should vote Kamala Harris without people fear-mongering her about the Trump train being bad if she doesn't vote for Kamala Harris. Let's take a look at these perspectives that have emerged and afterwards we're going to have a discussion. Now that Grandpa Joe has stepped aside and endorsed Kamala Harris as the presidential nominee, explain to me, without threatening me or fear-mongering me or condescending to me why do i want to vote for her not why do i want to vote against trump why do i want to vote for her not why do i want to vote against project 2025 why do i want to vote for her y'all don't seem to comprehend the actual question being presented here is the reason why I'm stressed because we keep asking with every presidential nominee that you blue MAGA shove down our throats we have been asking why do we want to vote for them and the only answers we've been getting back is about why we want to vote against Trump and we're done with it what is she going to actively do to make the world markedly fun better good evening miss ravenwood my name is blaine i am from texas and i am still here and i do not have an answer for your question but i can tell you why i'm not going to vote for her um there's two things politically that i care about just two that are near and dear to me personally first of all is the second amendment i'm fully in favor of it and second of all is the legalities surrounding the uh giggle grass um and when she was district attorney in california she locked a bunch of people up for giggle grass in california of all places like what the f and i don't like that i don't remember the details at this particular moment in time it's been a while since i've heard about it but i remember being incredibly mad about it when i did hear the details and that's why i'm not going to vote for her uh, i'm voting third party personally i'm gonna do some research and figure out who else third party is pro 2a and pro giggle grass and they'll get my vote but I can't in good conscience vote for Miss Harris because of what she did to them folks over giggle grass in California of all places. It's despicable to me. Anyway, um, I hope you see this. Much love, much respect. This is not a troll video. I say that because people accuse me of trolling whenever I talk to somebody who's a little more blue than I am. They think I'm MAGA because I'm pro Second Amendment and I'm really not. But that's why I'm not going to vote for her. Anyway, um, be good, blessed be, all that. I need everybody to go and watch her video because this is what I've been saying. This is what I've been saying the whole time. Is tell me why I should vote for somebody, in general. Tell me why I should vote for somebody. Don't tell me who I shouldn't vote for. Especially Trump. Like, why, like, well, stop focusing on him. Tell me why this person is a good candidate to be a leader of the free world. Like, tell me why. And don't feed me a bunch of bullshit told by many people is that all the things that are about Trump, it's all fake news and fake propaganda. There's fake propaganda and fake news all over the place. And just because it's not for Trump doesn't make it true. Okay? Just like, just because it's said about Trump doesn't make it true. Tell me. Tell me why I should vote for somebody Max, about why this person is a good fit to lead our country 
and get it out of ruin from Grandpa Joe. Because we all know that he was trash and he trashed our country. And I swear if I hear one more person go, he was a patriotic person. Was he a patriotic person when he was not allowing his own child to be prosecuted for wrongs against America? Was he... <laughs> was he a f patriot when he talked about not having any lives lost in the military when 13 different people like was he patriotic then I'm just saying I mean those are just a couple examples there's many many more just was he patriotic when he allowed the US citizens to be pretty much trampled by illegal immigrants flooding in to the United States by an open border that he caused and then Camilla wants to stand up. Don't come. Don't come in. Right now, bitch, you don't open the damn floodgate. And then you want to try to play. Oh, no. Guess what? It's too late. You did it. That's unpatriotic. You didn't care about your U.S. citizens. You cared more about people coming over to a country that didn't have their paperwork ready and didn't do the due diligence of being legal to come in. And now we've got a bunch of fentanyl, a bunch of drug dealers, a bunch of cartels. Bunch of murder, rape, thieves, swindler. I mean, I'm, mm, that actually pisses me off. We've got a bunch of people flooding in over our open border, getting free health care when I can't get health care. I can't get a, appropriate health care, but they can get free health care. So that's real patriotic. That's real American right there. Um, no, no, no. You tell me why. You tell me, and if you throw out the, but she's a woman, I swear to all that is holy, I'm going to claim that's fake news too. I'm going to look at Michelle Obama. I'm done. Just watch the video because she has some really good points and they're pretty much a lot of the, the same questions that I have. Hey, it's Finn. I'm here to help. You sound very angry and I'm sure you have a reason to be. Um, but it also seems like you're rage baiting a little bit, and I'm not sure why. So here's what I'll say. No one can tell you how you feel about things. No one can tell you how you should vote because we don't know you. We don't know what's important to you. We don't know what your values are. That's what you should vote on. So if you don't think you can vote in good conscience against something, against Project 2025 or against Donald Trump and his stated agenda, that's okay. You have to find a reason to vote for something. Vote your conscience. That's the whole point. First off, I just want to say I'm sorry you're so stressed on this and uh, Blue Maga, which I'm not really familiar with because, but for me, why I wouldn't vote for? Well, no, we'll go with what you said. Why would I vote for? Well, you vote for because she was the border czar. And while she was the border czar, she visited the border a lot of times, right? No. She helped make sure the border was secure, right? No, not that I'm aware of. In fact, there's millions of people coming across. Uh, you vote for her because of her stance on uh, crim uh, criminals and jail and making sure the system is fair for minorities, right? No. She was not fair on that. She incarcerated more African Americans and minorities than she did white. So that's not it. You know, I, I have to say I'm not really sure why you would vote for her. Maybe someone else can help you, but either way, thank you for asking the question, and I hope my non-aggressive response has helped you want to search out more information. Good luck. Attitude, it doesn't matter what we say. So, instead of being told who to vote for, why don't you do your due diligence and go research it on why you would vote for her. Or not. Now, why would people find it hard to vote for her and why is she regarded as a controversial figure? Let's look at this. The first thing is her eligibility claims. So some folks claim circulated that she is not an American citizen and therefore an eligible to serve as a commander in chief. However, she is a natural born US citizen, born in Oakland, California to a mother from India and a father from Jamaica. 
the 14th Amendment confirms her eligibility, right? So these claims could have also further exacerbated the notion of her being controversial and people having doubts about her, you know, because it's all about fear mongering when, when speculations and speculations are going on like this. People don't want to bring up facts. So another debunked assertion is that she's not eligible to run for president because neither of her parents were natural born American citizens. This claim resurfaced when Uncle Sam endorsed her for the 2024 race. So are you seeing that palm colors are having excuses about her eligibility? Now let's talk about her racial identity and why it could also cause some controversy among palm colors and other citizens alike. She identifies as both black and Indian. Her father is black, born in Jamaica, and her mother was born in southern India. Some critics have questioned her authenticity or tried to diminish her black heritage. So you see that. So the other thing is her policy decision making, the way she goes about making policies, I guess. So as San Francisco District Attorney, Harris declined to seek the unaliving penalty for a gang member who unalived a police officer, infuriating law enforcement and obviously palm colored as the ones where we've seen those that are infuriated by her. And during her tenure as California's Attorney General, she appealed against the judge's ruling that the unaliving penalty was unconstitutional, which upset progressives, right? Other controversies also include authorizing a raid on a pro-life activist's home and questioning a judicial nominee's affiliation with the Knights of Columbus. Now, the other notion that could have further exacerbated discussions such as these is because the Trump train is not being so quiet about the unaliving attempt that failed. So the Trump train accuses Uncle Sam and Harris administration of failing to protect him properly. So the former president's comments suggest that he will more aggressively turn the unaliving attempt into a political gajo, basically suggesting that he's not going to be quiet about it and he's going to use that as an opportunity to show that Uncle Sam pretty much failed, right? And Harris is not deserving of that position because she's a woman and maybe she's incapable you know things like that this is the trump train he can say anything so after initially praising the secret service following the near miss unaliving attempt this month former president donald j trump for the first time blamed his political rivals uncle sam and vice president kamala harris for failing to protect him so the uncle sam harris administration did not properly protect me i was forced to take a bullet for democracy uncle sam posted on his social media website truth social on tuesday now we're talking about this because this could have also further exacerbated or could also further exacerbate notions or discussions such as the one that we've seen now the comments indicate that the trump train team in intends to continue raising questions about the secret service over the security lapses that put the Trump train's life in danger. But his remarks also suggest that the former president and his team will more aggressively turn the unaliving attempt into a political guardrail to be used against the administration and Ms. Harris, who is likely to be the Democratic Party's nominee in the presidential race. So I guess palm colors such as the Trump train and his supporters are doing uh, are going to the extent here, to the extreme rather, right, to try to discredit uh, people like Kamala Harris and prevent them from being in office, right? Prevent them from being eligible for that position. So I'm not really sure whether these perspectives that we watch from these palm colors, these are the Trump train supporters. I'm not really sure. But this is something that is recent and has recently surfaced. So you can most likely suggest that the Trump train supporters are more likely to say uh, the things that we've heard in today's discussion. Now, the Trump train has told associates he was full of confidence in his own secret service detail and he thanked them in a social media post shortly after the Pew Pew incident. But his team has long-running tensions with the agency. Those tensions are related to, to requests for additional resources that were denied. Over roughly two years, a number of requests for items like additional metal detectors and specially trained dogs were turned down, according to a campaign official. At first, I thought he was going to ask for more pupils, right? But he wanted more dogs and more metal detectors, allegedly. Even a request for metal detectors while well, the Trump train attended his son's Baron's high school graduation was initially rebuffed, a campaign official said, though it was eventually granted. In the immediate days after the pupil incident, agency officials initially denied that such requests had been turned down. But in a statement to the New York Times on July, by 28th, they acknowledged that some requests, well, had been denied. And I guess that's it about today's discussion concerning why people are talking about Kamala Harris and why you should vote for her without fear mongering them, right? About the Trump train being bad, this and that. Now, you leave your thoughts in the comment section and tell us what you think about today's discussion and the recently first discussion that is going on online involving the Trump train accusing Uncle Sam's administration and Harris's administration of being incapable of protecting him. I'll see you in the next video. Please like, share and subscribe. Signing off and take care.